Hi guys, when and once again I'm here. This is your Fes and Say or Fes Ralta Sibogero of Malay Balay City Central School, Malay Balay City. And our topic for today is about the order of operations. Are you ready guys? Hold on and watch for the PowerPoint presentation. The order of operations. These are the different operations we're going to study. The parenthesis, exponent, division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. The order of operations tells us how to do a math problem with more than one operation in the correct order. Are you ready? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This will help you to remember the order of operations. So, bear it in your mind. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And that will help you a lot. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay. Parenthesis. Always do parenthesis first. That's always the first. So, for example, open parenthesis, 3 times 6, close parenthesis, plus 2 equals n. n is the number we're looking for. First, do the operation inside the parenthesis. So that's it. 3 times 6. So 3 times 6 equals 18. Plus 2 equals the number. So 18 plus 2 equals 20. And that is the answer. Second, exponents. This is 4 raised to the third power, or that is the same as 4 times 4 times 4. Multiply this number itself 3 times. That is the second. Always do exponents second. First, parenthesis second exponents for example 3 plus open parenthesis 3 plus 2 close parenthesis and exponent 2 or that is raised to the second power remember we're going to perform parenthesis first so copy 3 plus Inside the parenthesis is 3 plus 2. Therefore, 3 plus 2 equals 5. Raised to the second power equals n. Then, second, do or perform the exponent, which is raised to the second power. So, copy 3 plus open parenthesis. 5 raised to the second power means... 5 times 5. Close parenthesis. So 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 plus 3 or 3 plus 25 equals 28. Then multiply or multiplication, divide or division. That will be the third. We're going to do multiplication and division third from left to right or as they arrive in the equation. Remember, from left to right or as they arrive in the equation. Okay, let's try. 8 divided by 2 plus open parenthesis 3 times 6 close parenthesis equals n. So,
So, 8 divided by 2 equals 4 and 3 times 6 equals 18. That is 22. Add or addition, subtract or subtraction. Do addition and subtraction for from left to right or as they arrive in the equation. For example, 5 minus 3 plus 4 equals n. As they arrive from left to right, since in this equation, first to arrive is subtraction, so do subtraction first before addition. So 5 minus 3 equals 2 plus 4 equals 6. Let's try some problems. Are you ready? So this is Pam Das or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The first example is 3 plus 2 raised to the third power minus open parenthesis 9 plus 1 close parenthesis. So, as we said, we're going to perform the parenthesis first. So, 9 plus 1 equals 10. Then, next is the exponent. So, copy 3 plus 2 raised to the third power is just the same with 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 minus 10. Then, as they arrive for the addition and subtraction. So, since addition comes first, therefore, 3 plus 8 equals 11 minus 10 equals 1. Another example. 3 times, open parenthesis, 9 plus 1, close parenthesis, plus 6 raised to the second power. Copy 3. And the number inside the parenthesis is 9 plus 1 equals 10. Plus 6 to the second power. Then, after the parenthesis, you are going to perform the exponents. So, 6 squared is just the same with 6 times 6, which is 36. So, 3, open parenthesis, 10 close parenthesis plus 6 squared is 36. Then, this number here, we can find any operation between 3 and parenthesis that is the same as multiplication. So, this is 3 times 10 equals 30 plus copy 36 and the answer is 66. Some more. 4 plus 5 times open parenthesis 6 minus 2 close parenthesis. So, copy 4 plus 5 times inside the parenthesis 6 minus 2 equals 4. Then, the next operation is multiplication. So, copy 4. 5 times 4 equals 20. And the last is 20 plus 4 equals 24. 4 plus 10 times 2 raised to the third power minus 16. Perform the exponent first. So, copy 4 plus 10 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 minus 16. Then, do multiplication. That is 10 times 8 equals 80. So, copy 4 plus 80 minus 16. So, 4 plus 80 equals 84. Then, minus 16 equals 60. 
How did you find it? Another example. 21 plus 10 raised to the second power divided by 10. Perform the exponent first. So that is copy 21 plus 10 times 10 equals 100 divided by 10. So the next operation is division before addition. So copy 21, 100 divided by 10 equals 10. And the final answer is 21 plus 10 is 31. Some more. 10 plus 7 raised to the second power minus 2 times 5. Perform the exponent first. Copy 10. 7 times 7 equals 49 minus 2 times 5. And after exponent, multiplication. So that is copy 10 plus 49 minus 10, 2 times 5 equals 10. Then addition first, 10 plus 49 is 59 minus 10 is 49. Some more. 64 divided by open parenthesis 9 times 3 minus 19 close parenthesis perform what's the number inside the parenthesis first 9 times 3 equals 27 minus 19 and the second 27 minus 19 equals 8 then 64 divided by 8 is 8 Have fun doing the order of operations. Thank you. So that's it. That's the order of operations. Remember, please, for parentheses, excuse for exponent, my, more multiplication, dear division, and addition, sally subtraction. So the first thing to do, parenthesis, inside the parenthesis, you're going to perform the operation. Then the exponent, raised to the second power, the third power, and power. Then do the multiplication and division as they arrive in the equation or from left to right that's the third and the last addition and subtraction as again as they arrive in the equation how did you find our lesson for today so i hope you get the technique on how to do it. So that's it. Bye bye.